Hi everyone, Tracy here, founder and owner of Coco Con Essential Oils, and I have been thinking lately about how I can contribute to the community and to all of our customers and with this whole coronavirus scare, what I can do to contribute and make things a little bit better for people. So I'm going to be doing a, a short video every day for the next couple of weeks or until this whole coronavirus gets behind all of us and we can move forward. I'm thinking a lot of you might have some extra time to learn some new things about essential oils and um, have some tools for protecting yourself at home and outside the home too. So first off, uh, I want to talk about making your own countertop spray with some anti-infectious essential oils. So we're going to make one here in just a second, but first I thought I would point out um, we have eight different anti-infectious essential oils here, one of which is a blend. But um, first, if you can zoom in just a little bit, Sarah, we've got uh, sweet marjoram essential oil, lemongrass, tea tree, oregano, all of those are strong anti-infectious essential oils. So they're really great for using in countertop sprays um, or surface sprays in general. And then over here we have cinnamon bark, cinnamon leaf, uh, eucalyptus, and purify. Also great oils for um, surface anti-infectious sprays. Um, so that being said, let's get to it. Also, you know, it, one thing I do want to say too is blending them together, uh, there's a synergistic effect that I think makes your spray stronger than if you just use one. So some of these don't blend very well together, you know, like you really probably wouldn't want to mix um, uh, oregano and lemongrass. That probably wouldn't smell very good. So anyways, play around with it, have fun, see what you have in the cabinet or get some new ones uh, online if you want. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is you need a 16 ounce spray bottle. Uh, we do have these online in case you guys need some. Um, I'm going to take the cap off. I like to have a funnel. It just makes putting the water and the vinegar into the container so much easier. Um, put your funnel in there and then you're going to just, it's two tablespoons of white vinegar. And you know, you can just use a big spoon you have in the bowl. It doesn't have to be precise and exact. And then we're going to add, um, we're going to basically fill up the rest of the bottle with water, which will give us about 16 ounces. So I like to go a little below the neck. So when I put my cap in, you know, that little surge that will bring up the water level up doesn't go over the top. And you can just use a cup. I mean, this is what I have handy. You don't have to have this kind of container. There we go. And then lastly, we're going to add our essential oils. And I'm going to use our Purify Essential Oil Blend. This is our version of Thieves, for those of you that are familiar with the Young Living, very popular product. Um, it has the um, airborne antimicrobial oils of cinnamon bark and clove bud. That's one I forgot. Clove is a highly anti-infectious oil, so keep that in mind. Um, and then it has immune supporting orange, which is also antibacterial, and respiratory supporting black spruce in here. So this is one of my favorite uh, oil blends to use for countertop sprays, especially with all this stuff going on. So we are going to do 40 drops in the 16 ounces. And that's it. There's your 40 drops. You got two tablespoons of white vinegar and the rest filled with, I just use tap water, but for those of you that, you know, want to use distilled water, go for it. Um, and then you just give it a shake. Shake it in between use because essential oils and water don't mix. So um, I always shake before I use it as a spray. And then lastly, I wanted to talk to you about using uh, a disinfectant. Um, the CDC is recommending um, that your your surface disinfectants have 70% alcohol in them. I know everybody's having a really hard time getting their hands on uh, rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. So an alternative to that is 160 proof. Vodka is going to be your cheapest option. There is 100 proof. Um, 100 proof has 50% alcohol by volume. Uh, the 160 proof has 80%. And then the isopropyl alcohol, alcohol has 70%. So... Um, I use it straight. We use uh, rubbing alcohol here at the store and in manufacturing all the time. Uh, you know, we do like a, a countertop spray with uh, 
essential oils and then we use the um, isopropyl alcohol after. But anyways, run to your liquor store, get some 160 proof vodka and you'll be good to go. So tomorrow uh, we are going to do a, um, we're gonna make a hand sanitizer together and I'm gonna give you some alternative options for aloe gel and again, the isopropyl alcohol um, just because they're like so scarce right now. So anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.